what's up y'all it's shine back with another one so i wanted to record um so basically this is gonna be my boob experience i got my boobs done like i said in my last video um yeah so i got my boobs done in november 4th november 4th and today is november 28th so it's been a few weeks so i just wanted to make a video to tell my experience and stuff like that so first things first i wanted to get my boobs done probably for like a year or two now and i was like oh i'm gonna get them done you know how people just be like oh i'm gonna get them done i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and then i just really went one day went to the i went for a consultation that's it i wanted to just get information figure out what's going on figure out pricing and everything and then next thing you know i booked my procedure which i i got my doctor from another youtuber um her name was her name is tiffany tiffany Moore on youtube and like instagram i had watched her youtube like a year ago when she got hers done and that's how i found out with my doctor so i had researched him did my research and everything and i loved how her boobs looked so i wonder i went ahead after i did my research and talked to him and everything i went ahead and got my boobs done and i love mine as well um, so I did want to, um, make this YouTube for other girls who might want to get theirs done. So what I'm going to do is leave the information down below. Um, so it's easy to access because a lot of times you don't, you can't even really find people. You don't know. Honestly, if I didn't see hers, I probably wouldn't have knew, like, I probably would have been researching, not knowing where to go. And I went somewhere in Delaware, very local. I didn't have to fly to Miami or anything like that. So that's cool. But anyway, first things first. So I got it done November fourth. Um, so I went for my consultation um, October something, I guess. Oh yeah, I was say wait, do November come after October? <laughs> I guess in October, and I was just like figuring out okay, safety issues and everything. So I got saline implants, which cost forty eight hundred dollars. So I feel like that wasn't too shabby. Um, the silicone ones are six thousand, which I feel like aren't too shabby either. Cause I feel like I always thought surgery was like 10k and above. That's it. So when I heard 4,800, I'm like, oh wow, that's good. So the reason I got saline is because they were safer. Um, really, just because they were safer. So if anything were to happen, God forbid, my implant, my implant was to pop. It's just saline, normal saline in my body. If anything, I get fluid volume overload. Okay, rather than a silicone gel being in my body. Um, so that's how I chose that. Funny, crazy story too is. Um, when I went, so I went for my consultation, put my deposit down, made my surgery, bam, I made my procedure date. Like, a few weeks later, the nurse had called me like, oh, basically like, can you change your date? Because the manufacturer, something about the manufacturer who, for the saline implants, they're thinking about, they, they're, they're, I guess they're, they were trying to put a hold or stop selling like this, making saline implants. And they want to do full-blown silicone, which she said she don't know why. We both were saying, like, maybe because of money, because silicone costs more money. And she said majority of people get silicone implants, not saline. So I think it's kind of like that, like, this the business thing. Like, most people are getting silicone, there's more money. That's, that's cut out the saline so that the people who get saline can get silicone, you know? That's what I think. But God was good because they, they had my implants. They had my size and everything. So that was good. So that's the only thing. I don't know if like other people who want to go get their boobs done will it be saline still. I don't know. That was a sketchy for me. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. So I don't even know. Like, should I do like a whole? Should I do like my experience and stuff too, or should I just do? I don't know because I don't want the video to be too long. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just like making um thoughts in my head. But anyway. So, yeah, so I went November 4th. You had to have somebody to drive you there and everything. The procedure was cake. I was asleep the whole time. My procedure took two hours. I was knocked out, woke up in pain. Um, What I will say about the pain is the pain is not, it, the pain is tolerable with, with pain meds. Like, I thought I was going to be crying. I thought I was going to be able to, like, function. But it was just, like, a real tight squeezing feeling or whatever. Um, So, it wasn't too bad. Um... Like, the first three to four days was really bad, like, as far as pain, like, can't really move, can't really do much, yeah, but other, after that, not too bad. It's just certain stuff I couldn't do. If you have help, you'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so, recovery, um, 
I say like two two weeks. It took. I, I think I went back to work in two weeks or something like that. Um, even well, well now 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 I will say I be, I can lift stuff and everything without issue. But like even like last week or like two weeks, yeah, like last week when I tried to like oh, like close my trunk to my car, it was like hurtful. Like I feel like I could feel the implant or something. I don't know. Um, but now it's good, and this is the result. Oh, oh. So cute. Oh, I'm so happy, y'all. And it's so crazy because before, um, I always wanted to gain weight. Like, I wanted to be thick. I still want to be thick. But ever since I got my boobs, I haven't cared about my thickness. It's crazy. Like, my, this enhanced me. Like, I was just like, I got on the scale the other day and I was skinny as hell. I'm not even going to tell you my weight. But I was like, ugh. But I didn't care. Usually, if I get on the scale and my weight is not real good, I'm like, oh my God, I got to go eat some oatmeal. I got to do this. I got to do that. But... The other day, I was just like, mm, oh, well, I got all boobs there. <laughs> like, that's how I felt. So, I love it. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on, like, I'm going to say, I guess, pros and cons or what I wish I wouldn't do before I got my boobs done. I'm not going to put that in here because it won't be too long. But it is some stuff that I do want to say for people that I wish I wouldn't do beforehand. But overall, like, I'm very happy with my experience. Um, It's like a bra you have to wear for six weeks or whatever. I'll probably put all that in the next video, too. But really, that's it. Like, I got my boobs done. I love them. They fit my body good. I had got 400 cc's in each boob. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to put all that in my comment. What's it called? Whatever it's called. The comment section. Look at me. I don't know nothing. Whatever it's called. Y'all going to see. I'm going to put all the information in there so y'all can see. And then I'm going to do another video about, like, like I said, pros and cons and everything. But... I love my boobs. I really love them. Everybody love them. My friends love them. My mom. Nobody really said anything like, oh, don't get your boobs done. Nah. I didn't tell my family. Like, I didn't really. Only person in my family who really knew was my, my mom. I didn't tell, like, my aunt, my grandmama and all them. Because they was going to be like, yeah, I need it done. But afterwards, like, they were just like, they didn't really say nothing was already done. And the other day, my grandma told me they look good. <laughs> I'm freaking up. But yeah, so definitely, if you want to get yours done, Get them done. It's 2021. Hope about to be 2022. But um, definitely do your research. You know, you don't want to go to the wrong doctor. Or you don't want to, you know, just do your research. And then I'm going to tell you more stuff in the next video about what to look out for. Because um, it's stuff that I wish I would I would have do. Not really a lot, but like, just, you know, so you can know. But even the stuff that I would have do beforehand, I don't think I would have changed. I still would have got my boobs in because I love them. Um, I took a video... The day, the night before I got my boobs done, so I'm insert that in here too. This was before I even knew I was making a YouTube. I'm insert that in here too. Um, but yeah, so make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna have another video for more info. See y'all. All right, y'all. So I look a mess. Ooh, don't worry. So tomorrow, November fourth, twenty twenty one. Okay. I'm getting my breast done. Because y'all see I ain't got none. Itty bitty flat grapes. Nothing. Okay. So excited. Um, so nervous. Um, I wanted to record because just in case I feel like I want to post it or something. So I'm going to record just in case. Or nobody might never see this. So I don't know. Um, so I got to be at the hospital at 6 o'clock in the morning. Um... My procedure started at 8. Um, right now, it's like 8 p.m. I have to hurry up and go eat because I can't eat after 10 p.m. So, I'm going to go eat. But, um, yeah, I'm excited. Um, I, oh, mm, I'm not going to say I always want to get my boobs done. But I wanted to get them done for a while. Probably, like, I've been saying I'm going to get my boobs done for, like, two years. Like, I'm like, I'm going to get them done. I'm going to get them done. And I was like, I was going, I wanted to wait till I had kids first. So I had one baby, so <laughs> that's enough of that. But apparently you can still breastfeed and stuff even after, but I still wanted to at least have a baby first before you. I wish I think, I wonder if you had to have kids before you can even try to get it. I don't know. Probably not. But anyway, I'm so excited. Um, I'm nervous a little bit. Um, I'm like a little nervous. Of course, whenever you get some work done, you're like, oh, what if I don't like it? So a tad bit, but not really because the doctor I chose is really, really good. So not so much, but the pain I'm about to be in, I have a 
my low, 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 low pain tolerance. So I'm nervous about that because I'll be in here crying, okay? I already know I am, but I'm excited. Uh, so this is the before. Nothing, okay? <laughs> but when I come back, <laughs> I'm cracking it. But anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna keep you updated. Maybe. I have a, I have a plan in my head to make a YouTube, aside from the couple of YouTube that I had that I stopped doing because I felt like I didn't feel like doing YouTube no more. Um, I feel like I should make one for myself. Low chance of it actually happening, but it might happen. Um, my hair looks a mess. My lashes look a mess. I was supposed to get my lashes done before my surgery, but my lash girl didn't have availability. Well, she did, but I couldn't make it because I had work. Anyway, I'll keep you updated. Alright, so I just got home from surgery. Um, it's like, what, 1 o'clock? 1 o'clock? Well, probably 2. 2 o'clock. I just got home. Um, surgery went well. Um, my throat hurt a little bit because they had to intubate me. Um, but not too bad. It's like a little scratchy. Um, I'm in pain. My breasts hurt really bad. Well, I'm not going to say really bad. It's, it's like tolerable, but it hurts. And I can't like use my arms to push myself like push myself up on the bed or nothing like that because it hurts um do it feel like a hard day after the gym by that time I, I made you go to the gym you did them squats and you couldn't walk is it pain like that or is it a different type of pain no it's like pressure like a lot of like pressure squeezing that's what it feel like on my boobs it just hurts if i try to move um i can walk but it's just slow i'm just real tired um apparently i'm like dyslexic or something <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm dyslexic or what. I was giving um, my friend the address to go pick up my baby, and the address is six five four. But apparently, I told them what I tell y'all. Like three five six or some shit. But that's crazy because in my head I said six five four. Like I said that, so that's insane. But I'm about to just um, try to sleep, try to eat. I don't know what I'm eat. My best friends are coming over. Um, but I mean, I can't see the results because I'm all tucked in but they're looking pretty good if you ask me um i can't take this off until tomorrow when i shower like i gotta take these on until tomorrow and then i shower i think it's 24 hours i don't know if i do it tomorrow until 12 or just tomorrow i don't know and then i got i had to buy a special bra and then i gotta keep their bra on for six weeks apparently <sighs> but yeah um i was knocked out during the surgery so i ain't feel nothing but i woke up like in pain like